Die-hard romantics didn't want the weather to get in the way of Valentine's Day, but Mother Nature had other ideas. Take your time, no rush. Take your time. 30 people enjoying dinner in this seafront restaurant in Milford-on-Sea had to be rescued. The wind was just smashing against the windows. And it almost, to, to look at it, it almost looked like the windows were bending. And then all of a sudden, the outside of the windows just started smashing. There was glass everywhere. It just it wasn't safe for anyone. Shingle and stones, whipped up by the winds, pelted the emergency services who came to help. Fantastic support from the military uh, to, to use their vehicles because clearly none of our vehicles would have been high enough in terms of uh, wheel access to uh, get across the water. This is what the wind can do at speeds of 80 miles an hour, ripping paving from the ground in Penzance. The strongest gust of 109 miles per hour was recorded off the Isle of Wight. Far away from the coast and on a central London street, strong winds caused part of a building to collapse on this car, killing the 49-year-old woman in the driver's seat. Two passengers who were in the back seat of the car, a 25-year-old man and a 24-year-old woman, were hurt but survived. You only have to look at all the stonework on the ground to get an idea of just how serious this was. Another casualty of the storms was aboard the Marco Polo cruise ship. An 85-year-old man died after it was hit by a freak wave in the channel, water coming crashing through a window. Fallen trees and other flying debris has cut off power to hundreds of thousands. Tens of thousands of homes are still without electricity. And major disruption continues to roads and railways all over the country. On the Somerset levels, underwater for a month now, special pumps brought in for the Netherlands are making progress. You can't describe the importance of the job that is going on behind me. It is massively important. If we fail on here, our backs are now against the wall. We can't fail on this one. This has to succeed. And as far as I'm concerned, it's going to. But the worst of the weather is not over yet. And that's why in the Thames Valley town of Raysbury, the sandbagging continues. 60 mile an hour gusts will continue for the rest of today. Tomorrow should be dry and sunny, if you can believe it. Ty Genmite, Sky News.